Back on the show is John Tuck, who's got a huge fight coming up here against Takanori Gomi at UFC Fight Night 111 on June 17th. John, how are you? I'm doing good. Everything's going great. Awesome. That's uh, that's great to hear. And obviously, like I mentioned there, big fight for you. You're taking on a legend in Takanori Gomi. Um, how excited were you when you found out that you'd be fighting him? Man, I was so excited. I've been asking for this fight. You know, of course, uh, when I first started getting into training for myself at least was you know i used to like watching many fights and back then when i started youtube was just probably starting up so i was watching clips of bj Penn, you know he fought takenori gomi and uh just all, all the legends you know and uh i was super stoked because i i don't know when gomi is gonna ever retire but I was just hoping that I could at least share the cage with him at least once, you know, the octagon and give that, give that honor to me as a, as a martial artist. I mean, yeah, he's a legend and everything. And that, that'd be great to share, share that moment, you know, and of course, you know, being able to take, take his fights into the next, you know, because uh, he's a big deal in Asia, especially in, I, uh, just as much as in the world and that's kind of where where my uh where my base is at you know asia pacific so able to take that into the fight and the next fight for the future of course and, and do you feel like this is kind of like a nice consolation prize because of course your last fight with, with damon brown i know a very close fight you felt like you won it i, I saw the post-fight interviews it was a very close matchup um you know it's is it is at least sort of you know the nice thing here is that you are fighting gomi and that you know after after everything you've been through yeah for sure i was man you know you last year was kind of rough you know sacrificed a lot being away from family and just me and um and the sacrifice is, makes you going through a loss like that where you get, you know, robbed by the judges. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fair guy and, man, uh, you know, it's not my opponent's fault or anything or my past opponent. But, I mean, you got you to gotta be crazy to say that, you know, I lost that fight. I mean, might have, <laughs> yeah, it's been taking drugs. But for me, to suffer that kind of uh, uh that kind of loss and then go into it's like you know i could see easily how people would give up and be like you know this is not the job for me you know especially the though he's sacrifice has been made but then the fact that i actually got a matchup that i've been dreaming of having for as long as i can remember uh in my career and just to have it like that that's really it was like a pure revival, you know, just like that motivation just shot through the roof again. And I'm just excited that it's going to be in Asia. You know, if it was in Japan, that'd be sweet. But, you know, yeah, Singapore this is nice. Singapore's pretty and, great. No, Singapore's amazing, you know, everything about it. And it's just even more, uh, it's, much, it's much more meaningful to me that, that I get to fight him. And, you know, it could be his last fight, you know, who knows, you know. Yeah. But just to be able to, Share the octagon with him. That's just complete honor for me. Is this going to be your first time going to Singapore? No, I've been there before when the when the first uh, UFC Singapore happened. That's right. So I was there, and um, yeah, I just can't wait to go back. You know, I had a great time when I was there, and I wasn't fighting, and I wish I could have been. But uh, now I get to you know go to a place that I'm familiar with and get to put a lot of uh, you know showcase a lot of fireworks when I get there. And you've been racking up the frequent flyer miles. You've been uh, traveling a lot in your UFC career, which I think is awesome. Um, as far as, you know, when you're going to head down there, have you mapped that out yet as far as, uh, you know, because I, I know obviously the, you know, travel time and everything else, it can be a bit taxing. Yeah, especially uh, the last fight in Australia kind of threw me off. You know, uh, I didn't sleep too much getting there, tried to adjust. But I think, you know, mapping out a bit, getting to the time zone, sooner than just one week will make a huge um difference and um yeah i'm about to get i'll i'll fly out maybe about a week before the week of the fight so at least two weeks before the fight so i can acclimate to the time zone 
even the weather and everything else. Great. And and how do you feel like you match up against Takanori Gomi? Man, it's exciting, you know. They put this fight together because they wanted to see two two guys who are willing to trade and, you know, um I know he's got some bombs, you know, and never can count him out. He's coming off uh, losses and, you know, so am I, but, you know, it's 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 going to be a, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a f- for sure fight of the night or, you know, performance of the night. Uh, that's how I look at it. I mean, Gomi can never count him out. He's always willing to bang. So just get in there and and pick all the right shots and set him up to to get the best part. You know, he's he cannot uh, he'd be stupid to count him out, you know. Yeah, no, I completely agree with that. Um, he hasn't fought in a while, though. I mean, the last time we saw him was a uh, UFC 200. Uh, do you feel like his lack of uh, activity is going to hurt him in this fight at all? Um, you know, that's really there, there's always a uh, positive and negative. You know, you could say the inactivity could have been a ring rust or whatever. But I, you know, this this sport, this. It's grueling, you know, especially how you train and throughout the whole years, you know, sometimes it could be your best friend to take a little break, you know. But um, me, I really, it's just, I'm not even focused on that. I'm focused on me having the best night of my life. Excellent. I like hearing that. Uh, you mentioned uh, training. Uh, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? I'm training with, uh, so before this fight happened, and, and, you know, going back to that other question that you, we've talked about, um, I was, uh, when I got the fight announced, you know, or not the fight announced, but when Sean Shelby sent me a, sent me the text and I said, hey, you willing to fight Gomi? And I was already heading out to Abu Dhabi for some training because I had a coach over there that uh, that I used to train uh, for, for the, the past, uh, Marcus Oliveira, and... Um, went to go train with the, because it's high level jiu-jitsu in Abu Dhabi, so I wanted to go absorb all the uh, jiu-jitsu that I can to take into the next fight whenever, the, at the time was whenever I, whenever it happened, but flying to, I was in Philippines and I just went into my phone and scrolled up to, to refresh the, the, the email. And I see that message from Sean Shelby saying, hey, you want to fight Gomi, uh, UFC Singapore? And I was like, I just yelled. I was like, yeah. You know, and I, I mean, I'm downplaying how, how, how much I yelled, but I, I shouted in the airport. And, I mean, everybody was looking at me, all the security. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shoot, you know, maybe. But they see me smile, so then. Yeah, it was nothing that, bad. It wasn't like, you know. You know yeah. It could have been that. It's, it wasn't like they were going to try to take me out of the airplane. You right, know I mean? right. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too brutal. <laughs> Dragging yeah. me out, and I'll have to use my jiu-jitsu. But it was, uh, it was cool. I was so excited. I just couldn't help it. And then, you know, already knew. I was like, okay, even more so, like, I couldn't enjoy myself as crazy as I would not having a fight set up in Abu Dhabi. Because, you know, they got a lot of good food there, too, as well. And, you know, when you're traveling and training you tend to put on a couple extra baggage you know so yes yes yeah <laughs> so I, I, hear, to, I hear what you're saying i had to keep it uh keep it pretty pretty basic but um uh, yeah i went i went over to abu dhabi as training over there with marcus Oliveira and those the rest of the guys uh sorry about that and um and i was working with all the guys uh, with Abu Dhabi top team and uh, the ready system. And now I'm back here in California at Huntington Beach and sticking to the same program with uh, Kings and also Nick Kirsten with Speed of Sport. So just, you know, really putting it together and fine tuning. Excellent. Uh, what's your prediction for this fight? June 17th, how do you see this fight ending? I mean, usually first round, you know, that's what I that's what I uh, really see it as. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for openings and then capitalize on it as as and definitely uh, definitely taking a lot of knowledge 
from uh, from the past fights into this fight, whether I've you know won or lost. You know, especially especially coming back from you know, say 2016 um, wasn't so fair to me. You know, the first the first loss was in Rotterdam against Josh Emmett. You know, um, kind of give him the fight, you know, with his activity. But, I mean, um, the last fight for sure was com complete robbery. So I kind of had a pretty tough uh, 2016. And I'm just really making sure that 2017 is even more. Uh, but, I mean, everything for me, I feel like is lined up perfectly. I mean, just as in, I mean, speaking to you, speaking to people on the street, speaking to people anywhere in part of the world, I feel like, just, just how the universe is working, it seems to be working out all in my favor, you know? You seem laser focused. I got to tell you, you seem very like just zoned in on this fight, which is great. I, I'm feeling over here, you know, I'm all the way out in Canada. <laughs> I can feel it, you know, I'm trying to hold myself back. But, you know, it's like um, you just get in there and you just know what you're you're designed for, what you're what you're capable of. And, you know. I'm really looking forward to take this fight and winning and, you know, I appreciate the fact that Gomi took it, you know, because, you know, compared to the other guys that he's fought, I'm not really supposedly ranked close to him or at his level, you know, or whatever, whatever people may say, you know, or why he would take a fight. I'm a risky fight for him, definitely. And, you know, I'm just going to take it into the future and let's... Let's really get back on track to focus to get the title. Before I let you go here, what are you watching on Netflix right now? Oh, Netflix. Uh, See, I asked the tough questions here. Yeah, no, it's freaking. <laughs> uh, what am I watching on Netflix, man? Honestly, I haven't been watching Netflix. Oh, the last the last thing I watched on Netflix was my my really great. Friend and supporter is uh, Joe Coy. His his uh, new release live in Seattle, and that was uh, you got to check it out. It's really okay. funny. I'll take the recommendation. Biased. Yeah, Joe Coy is a uh, live stand up in uh, Seattle. Awesome. I'll uh, I'll check that out. I love I love stand up comedy. So I uh, I just watched um, what was it? I watched Bill Burr's one recently, which was really good. So gotta check that one out if you're a fan of comedy it's uh it's good stuff and uh, i certainly can't wait for this fight man ufc fight night 111 june 17th in singapore john can't thank you enough for joining me here on the program where can people find you on social media and if you got any thank yous or sponsors or shout outs or anything like that the floor is yours yeah it's at john cruz tuck uh facebook instagram twitter and um yeah i just want to thank everybody that's been with me you know um for the past year, it's been rough, but 2017 is coming, and I mean, this this fight's coming up real, real soon, and I'm so excited and just happy that people stick by me. You know, it's easy for people to uh, quickly doubt you, and I mean, that's how it's been throughout my whole life. But I really appreciate all the people that support me and my family. Love you guys. You know, you guys, you guys are the the world to me, and and the supporters too. You know, um, ITE. And Guam Winward Memorial, uh, Pacific Island Monkey Pops, and uh, JG Global, and Float Therapy Spa, Therapy Crowd Salon, Virus International, and uh, yeah, man, there's so many people that that still stand by me to this day that that just can't, I just can't thank enough, you know, the team, teams. Uh, Abu Dhabi top team and people in Guam that they really uh, stick by, stick by the the fighting spirit that they bring into the cage, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm just completely grateful and can't say much more. But you know, and there's so much more people I have you know starting out this whole trip and everything. Um, there's so many people that I want to thank, but you know, don't don't feel like you've been forgotten. 